Dozens of celebrities have been appearing in Chicago this week for the Democratic National Convention. We've seen Little John, Common, Oprah, Mindy Kaling, Patti LaBelle, all just to name a few. And we also saw some star power at the RNC in Milwaukee last month. Kid Rock introduced Donald Trump. We saw appearances from Hulk Hogan, Russell Brand, Jason Aldean, to name a few. So how powerful is the role of celebrity in endorsing a candidate? Dr. Melvin Williams joins us here in studio to talk about this. He's an associate professor of communication and media studies at Pace University here in New York. Doctor, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. I am very interested in this topic. Historically, what has the role of celebrity been in U.S. elections and, and pop culture and celebrity engagement? Has it, have, have we seen it for a while, many cycles now? Absolutely. Throughout American history, political candidates and parties alike have utilized celebrities as a mechanism to boost candidate profiles, um, to garner voter support. Um, we certainly have witnessed increased celebrity visibility over the past 20 years. We had the disastrous 2004 voter die campaign. Um, obviously, um, celebrities were in the 2008-2012 electing Barack Obama. 2016, a reality television star won the presidency. 2020 celebrities were there, and now we're in 2024 with an influx of celebrities um, attempting to assist these candidates in reaching targeted demographics. And an influx of influencers. That's also yes. something different about this yes. cycle. Why is it that the DNC particularly has been tapping the TikTok stars? Who were they going for? They are going for Generation Z, consistent with American politics. Um, we are seeing politicians targeting the youngest voting demographic, which is Generation Z. However, Lindsay, it's very important to note that that's not enough. Generation Z is different. Um, they are issue-driven. They care about political information accuracy. And they have been flooded with influencer and celebrity culture. So they are not as easily... Um, convinced hmm. that these people, for and speaking directly to influencers, know what they're talking about and are true experts on political topics. When we're sort of looking at some of the performances we saw in the DNC and appearances and the RNC, there's been a lot of talk on social media about this. But yeah. has there sort of been a sense historically that people in Hollywood who tend to elevate conservative voices and support those kind of candidates are sort of shamed for it and get blacklisted for it? Well, I, we have witnessed, um, obviously, instances where certain celebrities have been chastised for their views, and my stance on it is very clear. Um, American um, celebrities are American citizens who have the fundamental right to vote. They should be able to vote freely and without judgment, as you and I do, um, because they are celebrities, but they are citizens at the end of the day, and I don't think anyone should be counseled for exercising their right to vote. Can a, an Oprah... Yes. A Beyonce, a Taylor Swift. Yes. Swing an election. No. Um, they haven't in the past. Taylor Swift didn't do so in 2018. Beyonce performed for Hillary Clinton, and, and Hillary Clinton didn't win that election. Oprah Winfrey has been an outspoken um, supporter of some Democratic candidates. Um, it ultimately comes down to the candidate. You don't want the, the star power to oversee or overshadow the political power uh, and the message of the candidate. The candidate matters just as much as the celebrity, and I would say the candidate matters more. We have been talking about celebrity endorsements. Fake endorsements yes. have become an issue. Some of these deep fakes, AI. Yes. On Sunday, Trump shared an AI-generated image um, that said uh, showed support from Taylor Swift fans. There's been a now debunked uh, image of Ryan Reynolds, who appeared to show support for Harris. That's been proven fake. How big of an issue is this, and how, how do people differentiate what's real from what's not? This is a huge issue and a quite dangerous issue to democracy because we're seeing citizens being manipulated um, through the um, levers of digital media to deceive the American people. Um, we should all be very um, disturbed by this, and I'm glad that it was debunked. Um, however, unfortunately, a lot of these media platforms, particularly digital media platforms, they are unregulated. So, you know, uh, aside from a cease and desist here and there, the celebrity really um, doesn't have a lot of power. And somebody may see this and not see the debunking. Yes. Uh, it may have already, you know, had, had the message, done what it was intended. Um, Dr. Melvin Williams, thank you so much for being here and having this conversation. Thank you so much, Lindsay.